1876, the U.S. Department of Agriculture introduced a certain vine from Japan by the name of kudzu that they valued for its ability to spread exceptionally fast with exceptionally dense growth. And so it was introduced to combat erosion of soil, especially on hillsides where it was planted. But it, it did so well that it quickly threatened to take over the whole of the southern United States. And it was, as one author puts it, it was the vine that ate the south because it would simply smother all other vegetation and take over even cars and houses if left to itself unchecked. I think this is the, the, the property that Jesus is, a, a, is wanting to capture when he compares the kingdom of God to a mustard plant, which if planted in a garden could very well threaten to take over the whole garden because it became something of a weed. But the kingdom of God is not just a weed. It's also useful, just like kudzu was. Kudzu also served as animal feed. It was used in compost and was also used in the production of soap and lotions. So even though it might be something that was perceived as undesirable, it was extremely useful. This is the kingdom of God. It is resilient as a weed. I am sure we have all fought running battles in our gardens with weeds and we know that no matter what we do, no matter what we throw at them, they keep on coming back. This is a wonderful metaphor for the way in which God's plans will always triumph, no matter how much we as human beings tries, try to thwart them. But God's plans are also useful. No matter how, how weedy-like they must look to us, they serve a wonderful purpose in the midst of our life. They are extremely valuable. And so it is this, this hidden power of God that Jesus is trying to allude to in both the parables that we hear in today's gospel. Because of this hiddenness, we are taught by Jesus not to judge things by the appearances. The mustard seed, even though so small, ends up becoming a huge shrub. It contains within itself, in that smallness and insignificance, the power to take over a garden. The kingdom of God, though it appears small and insignificant, contains within itself the power to take over the whole world. It is this hidden power that Jesus is trying to underline in the first parable that we hear in today's gospel about the farmer who plants a seed and then goes to sleep and day and night he knows not how the seed grows. It is this hidden power that Jesus is trying to underline. And I think we can capture this by referring to another type of a seed, the Chinese bamboo, that when it is planted for the first five years does not sprout a shoot. And we might wonder, what is it doing underground for five years before it even sprouts a shoot? Well, it's not lying dormant. It turns out that it is creating an immense and expanded root structure that enables it, once it has sprouted a, sea, uh, a shoot, to grow to the incredible height of 30 meters within an incredibly short time, about six weeks. It is this root structure that allows it to grow so rapidly. And so Jesus is, I think, trying to refer us to the fact that the kingdom of God is all about its root structure. That we should not be deceived by appearances, that when we are in danger of losing hope because things appear to be down and out, we should not lose hope. We should carry on hoping in the power of God and remaining rooted in Christ and rooted in the Holy Spirit. Because when things appear above ground to be hopeless, actually God is silently at work. The Holy Spirit is silently at work in the root structure, extending their roots and their reach to launch a huge counterattack on the powers of evil that tend to thwart God's plans in our world. And so, dear friends in Christ, we are encouraged in our own lives to take heart, to be like the farmer who can simply go to sleep at night confident that God is at work. We do not have to stress ourselves out by messianic complexes that convince us that we have to save ourselves and save our world. We are already saved. Our world is already saved. 
God is silently, hiddenly, quietly at work within our world, establishing a root structure, preparing God's counterattack for the kingdom of God to arrive in our lives silently, surprisingly, immediately, and to remain there, resilient as a weed, but useful as a mustard plant or as a kudzu vine. God bless and have a good si Sunday.